Virtual digital assets or the VDA market dropped for the second consecutive day as investors await the US PMI data release later in the day, which will provide further insights for the market uh, as far as the US economical health is concerned. IC15 index of cryptocurrency was trading lower by 1.8% at 38,470 points. So, if we talk about the Thursday's macroeconomical indicators, which had actually shown an improvement in the US economy, the March business activity report reportedly rebounded unexpectedly, led by a surge in demand, especially in the services industry. The US composite PMI jumped to 53.3 in the March, up from 50.1 in the Feb. However, analysts expect the PMI schedule later in the day to come at around 49. On the other hand, some weakening was seen in the US economic data that was released earlier in the week. If you're talking about the initial jobless claim that rose by 5,000 to 245,000 versus expectations of a 240,000. The next meeting of the US Federal Reserve's Open Market Committee is scheduled two weeks away and market participants anticipate another 25 basis point rate hike. And the another reason for this week's decline can be attributed to the overly positive sentiment in the market and hence we have seen a lot of profit taking as well. And according to the report by the crypto analyst firm Sentiment, the market had a built up of the long bias in the derivative markets and according to its, to its data uh, from the coin glass, over one $58 million worth of the derivative contracts were liquidated in the past 24 hours with over 80% of them being long trades. Uh, the global crypto market was at $1.19 trillion, which was trading 2.3% lower in the last 24 hours. However, if you talk about the, the overall volume has shown 2% increase at $52 billion. The VDA markets uh, extended decline this week as the US Securities Action Commission uh, has shown strict stance against the crypto exchange uh, that saw Coinbase announcing departure of the US in other news. In another news, the Germany crypto exchange is looking out for expansion in Asia and it's moving towards India as the American war on the crypto continues. The Winkley was twins crypto exchange Germany has announced the expansion of its global engineering and operation terms. Uh, on April 20th, Germany revealed that it was opening a new office in Gurgaon, India and it is the latest large American crypto company to make a move offshore amid an ongoing crackdown on the industry. Uh, if you talk about the US stock futures, were little change as investors look in weeks worth of earnings results and a fresh round of data that showed the economy in rut. The Dow Jones Industrial Average Futures rose 16 points or 0.05%. S&P 500 futures was trading flat to positive at 0.06% higher. Nasdaq 100 futures gained 0.06% as well. And heading into a final day of trading for the week, if you we talk about the largest cryptocurrency, Bitcoin was trading at $28,010, down 2.8%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was down by 2% at $1,912. If you talk about the options data about Ethereum, uh, roughly around 217,000 Ethereum option contracts worth $4.2 billion are about to expire. However, it will be interesting to see at the end of the options expiry if it will affect the price of Ethereum and the crypto markets as well. So, uh, if you talk about the other altcoins, Solana Sol was down by 2% and was trading at $22.1. Cardano's ADA token was down by 3.3% to trade at $0.4. Avalanche FX was next on the list, trading at $17.9, down by 5.5%. Polygon Matic was trading down by 4.3% to trade at $1.1. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 8%. Shiba Inu was trading lower by 3.3%. Ripple's XRP token was trading at $0.46, down by 4.6%. Polkadot was down by 5.2% at $6.1. However, BNB was up by 0.7%, was trading at $326. So, uh, if we talk about Ethereum's layer 2 and its ecosystem, uh, namely Arbitrum and Optimism are gaining positive momentum, as well as Bitcoin's layer 2 network that are Lightning networks are also being adopted uh, widely in the in the overall crypto market. So let's understand about the layer 2 and its way going forward from Mr. Smith Kakkar who is a co-founder of CoinCrunch. Layer 2s are a method to scale 
the layer one or the main chain so right now what we are seeing is a lot of companies like optimism arbitrum they are building layer twos on top of the ethereum chain so we can consider ethereum as layer one here how how layer twos work is that they derive their security from the layer one so if let's say a chain has a maximum capacity of let's say maybe a hundred tr- transactions per second uh let's say a chain cannot process that amount of transaction so by having layer twos what we do is we create multiple chains on top of the layer one so multiple chains can then process uh, two main other transactions so let's say if main ethereum chain has uh, a limit of 100 transactions per second it's not the right i'm just taking a number uh, if if we add add a roll up on top of that like an optimistic roll up like maybe an optimism or arbitrum now they can also process 100 transactions in parallel so this overall in increases the maximum capacity of the chain and not only optimistic rollups we are also seeing zk rollups being uh coming out like zk sync launched their zk rollup polygon also launched their uh zk rollup so i think in the near future uh there will be a lot of research and innovation coming out on the rollup side to scale the main chains and uh distribute the transactions across main chain, uh, across multiple chains Thank you so much, Smith, for sharing your views uh, about the crypto market as far as the layer two ecosystem. Thank you so much. That's all there is in this coin monitor. This is Manoj Dara signing off. But keep watching Three Dot O TV for more such interesting analysis updates from market specialists. Thank you. Cloud database that is decentralized, stable, and has raised. $8 million in Series A funding led by cryptocurrency-focused investment firm CoinFund. Multicoin Capital, Blue Yard and the Capital are among the other investors in the round. Tableland's total funding is now $10.4 million. The funds will be used to support the launch of Tableland's mainnet, the release of new developer tools and the release of Tableland Studio later this year. Space and Time, a decentralized data warehouse company, announced a partnership with Microsoft to make real-time blockchain data available through the tech giant's Azure Marketplace. Beratrain, a layer one blockchain focused on DeFi, announced its $42 million Series A on Thursday at a valuation of $420.69 million. Polychain Capital led the December fundraise, which included investors Hack VC, DAO5, Tribe Capital, Shima Capital, and Robot Ventures, as well as several undisclosed centralized crypto exchanges. Paratrain is a project with a lot of crypto flair, as evidenced by its $420.69 million valuation. It was founded by a group of four pseudonymous founders who call themselves crypto natives. Bera is purposefully misspelled a slide not to hodl's deranged crypto rallying cry. P2P.org, a staking service provider, has raised $23 million in funding from Web3 investor Jump Crypto, crypto exchange Bybit, and digital asset bank Signa. P2P is working on a new infrastructure platform geared towards intermediaries as opposed to its current service which is geared towards direct holders. The company is attempting to capitalize on the recent Shanghai upgrade of the Ethereum network which allows users to withdraw staked assets. The Shanghai upgrade also known as Chapella is expected to increase institutional interest in Ethereum due to the increased liquidity it generates. P2P says it will use the funding to develop blockchain infrastructure that enhances the user experience in staking as well as researching and developing expansion initiatives. We will keep you connected to the evolving world of NFT. For accurate and latest updates of cryptocurrency markets and global regulations. Metaverse and Web3. 3.0 TV covers the latest crypto crimes keeps you updated about the global crypto events and exhibitions.